Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon. It's already one o'clock. Um, so as I'm scrolling through my Facebook and uh, I'm going through some of my some some of the posts, I I always tell you guys that I I don't follow, I don't necessarily su subscribe or like or follow. I don't, I don't think that I do, but I I do uh, look at these pages a lot, these Democratic pages, such as um, I mean I don't want to promote them too much, but it's always no, it's always good to know what their arguments are and what they're saying. So I look at some of these pages uh, called Democrat something or politics something, but they're leftist pages, right? And, uh, and, I, uh, and I'm reading their rhetoric and their, their headlines. Their headlines are always um, alarming, deceiving, lying. You guys know, I, and, and you know, it's funny because I've learned to recognize that recently as part of a personal experience. Hi, Liana. So I've, uh, I know what they do. I mean, I know how they twist everything. Like, okay, today I hear, I, I see the headline. Uh, Trump blocks uh, pandemic relief in big ball and, you know, in capital letters. Trump blocks pandemic relief uh, because he wants to block funding to the post office uh, to prevent, you know, fraud, uh, mail in ballot, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then at the end, they say, you know, they make it sound very alarming. Trump blocks pandemic relief, you know, to uh, to prevent mail-in fraud, whatever, and funding to the post office. And then at the end, it says, let that sink in, right? It's like, wow. I was reading parts of the bill this morning, or, or sorry, the dogs I don't have. Um, I was reading uh, parts of the bill and some of the things that were proposed. Uh, for and you know included in this bill that uh, that they are they've been trying to pass that they were negotiating for 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 weeks and weeks, and one of the one, one of the things that was proposed was to give illegal undocumented people um, stimulus help, just like they if they were American citizens. I mean, think of that. You're talking about people who are not American, who are not. Um, who did not come into America legally, okay, who have no right to be in America. I mean, it's bad enough that they are, but you're talking about people who have no rights whatsoever in America, okay, who hardly even pay taxes, Coca, who hardly even pay taxes because a lot of them, even though they work with, um, you know, fake social security numbers or whatever, what they like to do, what, puppy, what they like to do is uh, claim that they have a bunch of dependents, right? So, and, and they do that to avoid paying taxes because they know they're not gonna get a return at the end of the year. So in order to avoid paying taxes, what they do is they claim a bunch of dependents. And um, so, they wanted, so they wanted that, they wanted help for them, okay? How, why is it that the Democrats have to blackmail, basically, they have to blackmail the, uh, you know, the president and the, and the Republican Party who's fighting for Americans only. I mean, why, sh why would anybody be fighting for anyone else other than Americans, especially when it comes to pandemic relief, right? Um, why is it that they have to use, okay, well, you either give, you know, you give me, uh, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars for illegal and documented people, or... Uh, we can't agree on getting it to, to to the American citizens. Like, what does one have to do with the other? You fit, you you work on getting the help that the American people need, and then you negotiate somewhere else. But that's what they do. They use what they know. Uh, not only President Trump needs to get out there because they we have to stimulate the economy one way or another. Uh, we have to get people help because. Otherwise, how are people supposed to pay their bills without working for so many months? So the, need, the help needs to get out there. But what they do is they throw in their stuff like one example, because one of them was for the children or whatever. And they'll, they'll try to say that. But in any case, I believe some of these corrupt people make, you know, millions of dollars from these deals. Uh, the ones that are fighting for these deals. There's a reason why they fight for so much money, just like they do in Mexico. Like, okay, say in Mexico, they ask for a budget of... Uh, I don't know, a hundred or five hundred million pesos for uh, for city reparations, right? Well, they keep twenty percent, if not if not more, twenty, thirty, forty percent of that, 
and only you know the rest goes to the city so the reason why they want to get that done and the reason why they why they are so persistent and they're you know they're so concerned about the city being fixed is because they're going to keep a huge a huge part of that budget so i feel that happens uh, also with uh, with these programs and you know uh, feed the children and this and that like just get the money to the american people it's not that hard don't do it through programs do it through a direct uh direct stimulus direct help right um and um so anyway that's what they've been trying to block but what i my point is the deceit of the democratic party and uh, how they word everything and how they twist everything kind of like what's been done with me um another thing i wanted to tell you guys and um and it's something really important i have dealt with a lot of legal harassment over the past year since i went viral at the border uh, i've been a victim of a huge smear campaign um that I mean, it's nothing but, you know, a smear campaign by a few, um, even though I have thousands of people, thousands of people who support me. And this is coming from the words of one of them themselves. It's kind of funny. Um, it's a, it's a, and it's funny because I used it yesterday and, and she only knew where I got that from as well. But anyway, um, it's, um, it's a smear campaign, okay, based on jealousy. And, uh, and uh, it's just a small group of people, but it's a gr small group of people uh, who have a, a hate group, a, a terrorist organization, a funded terrorist organization, who have been harassing me for about a year and a half, right? And um, so uh, something I learned through that and, and something that all of you guys should know, and this is something to keep in mind, um, always, always, always um, take an extra step. Always dig deeper. Not, and, and when I say that, listen, pay attention to what I'm going to say. I've gotten uh, some of these cases, okay, that would have uh, that would have been so, um, I don't know, so easy for not easy for them, but they could say whatever they want, and, the, and the, sometimes courts will believe you because they're not going to go investigate, right? Oh, so you think they're not? Um, what I've done recently is I've called um, I've called supervisors, I've called executive offices, I've called this person and that person and and the county supervisor and this one and that one so that cases get investigated okay never let anybody walk all over your rights okay um you know a few months ago we had a case where i think if the case would have been thoroughly looked at okay and uh and in and, and the and it would have been a, a fair hearing I think the outcome would have been a lot different. I mean, not that it was anything major anyway. Um, that's why there's a difference between an extension and, and, and something being granted. But um, the things have to be thoroughly looked at. You have to demand that. You have to demand investigations. Um, yesterday, again, we had a case where things were, were thoroughly looked at. And it wasn't during the trial. Things had already been thoroughly looked at at my request. Okay? Um, and, uh, and while I was keeping you distracted with all my videos and everything else and, you know, making you think I was going crazy as you always do, cause you're that dumb. Um, I was working with other people behind closed doors to make sure this was fair and, uh, it was moved somewhere else and it was moved to the right place and it was fairly heard and treated and thoroughly looked at. And once it does, then, then you're not going to have a problem because it was really obvious to see that. The perjury was committed everywhere, lies, you know, not activists, yeah, okay. Um, not, not involved in politics, yeah, okay. Um, and stuff like that. I mean, it was really simple. It was really simple, you know. But that's because you have to, you have to take that extra step. Uh, because otherwise, for example, what happened in January is that they will just take whatever you say. And if it sounds bad enough, it's like, oh, okay, you know. But, uh, but always always stand up for your rights that's what i'm trying to tell you always stand up for your rights don't forget that as americans as citizens even in mexico too we have constitutional rights okay um never let anybody walk all over your rights never let a lie um just because it's told a million times become a truth in your life like no, I'm not a stalker. I don't stalk these people. They're a bunch of liars. Why would I stalk these old people and broke people and miserable people? Why? Why would I do that? It doesn't make any sense. Um, why would I care about their lives? Why would I want anything they have? Why would I, um, you know, 
Why would I be, why would their lives be a concern of mine? It's simply not true. Why would I want a, a man that's, you know, 20 years older than me? It doesn't make any sense. Broke, you know, miserable, rejected by his own wife. Why would I want that? It doesn't make any sense. So again, unless all this stuff is looked at, you know, and analyzed and thoroughly looked at, no, nope, they're not going to just figure it out. You have to go out there and demand that yourself so that it gets done, um, which is what I did. And, um, and once they do, again, it's not that hard to figure it out. You know, it's not that hard to figure out that, um, that people are, there's liars everywhere. You know, what, what, all, to see the entire picture, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's all, you know, uh, because if you just, if you just kind of go by what, uh, the rules say, or by what the norm is, or by what you think, you, you know, you should, what, you know, what everybody else does, um, then you may just be hurting yourself. I had a case removed from one court and, and uh, taken to another court. Really simple. Why? We explained the entire picture and what this criminal has been doing and why this is wrong and who's taking responsibility. Boom. It was gone to another court. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Not only that, um, things that should have never been there were recalled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, um, you know, people are being investigated for doing things wrong or whatever else. And, uh, and they will continue to be investigated because they should never allow this again. It's wrong. It's, a, it's an abuse of the system. It's enabling criminals. And, um, and at the same time, not really protecting people in general, only protecting some. So anyway, um, it's always take the extra step. And also as far as the Democrats, uh, never believe their rhetoric. They're full of it. They were trying to look out for illegals while looking out for American citizens, which we know, which we know President Trump was not going to fall for. OK, the bill wanted they included in the bill taking care of illegals. Of course, they were. That was never going to fly. He's not going to agree to that. Our president is not going to agree to that, right, President Trump? No, no, not going to agree to that. No, America first. Make America great. You guys want to hear? For every one new regulation, two old regulations must be eliminated. I have a running war with the media. They are among the most dishonest human beings on earth. They are. They are. That's what I was just telling you guys. They are the, among the most dis, dishonest human beings on earth. They really are. I don't frankly have time for total political correctness. And exactly. Exactly. Who has time for political correctness right now when the world is falling apart, right? And when America is falling apart. So anyway, and never let anybody walk all over your rights. Always be a step ahead and uh, keep them entertained because... They buy it. They are that stupid. Mm -hmm. They are that stupid. Um, and I'll also, I am going to show you guys an example of the deceiving lies that these people tell the courts, such as uh, a lie that I put a bullet, a digital bullet hole um, on somebody's uh, body when it's, I think, I believe it's part of the video. I'm going to, I'll go live about it in a little bit when I'm done with some of my work. Um, Where did you get that toy? Uh, somebody gave it to me. And yes, together, we, we will, will make, make America, America great again. again. <laughs> love my, uh, love my toy and my President Trump, uh, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, yes, I kept you entertained. Okay, bye.